Hello everybody, welcome back to another Girl Tech Fine Game tutorial. In today's Girl Tech Fine Game tutorial, I'll teach you how to add a door with a button that when you click the button, the door will rise or if the door will swing open, whatever you make it. Okay, the first thing you need to do is go to my Discord link in the description. It should be called Fruit Pickers. Scroll down until you see scripts for your own Girl Tech Fine Game. Go to the Enable channel, download the script. Go to the Disable channel, download the script. Import these scripts by hitting right click, import new asset, and then looking for your two scripts that you downloaded them and just importing them into your actual uh, assets. Then go make a button for your door um, and add the enable script and the disable script. Okay, on the disable script, you basically want to make it so it disables your door just like that. And then for the enable script, what you need to go do is go to your door, duplicate it, call this duplicated one um, animated door or something you will remember. And then go to window, animation, animation, create a new animation, just call it like door open. Uh, hit this little red button here, then zoom outwards. Create a key. Create a key at the start of your animation, then go like here and just make it so it's like fully up. So that's what my door is going to look like. I really. Okay. Then once you're done, you need to go to your green button again. And your animated door, you need to set that as the enable script. Then go to your animated door, make sure apply root motion is on, and then disable it up here. Go to whatever folder you made your animation in and look for the door, uh, whatever you named yours. Since I named mine door open, it's called door open. Where it says loop time, make sure that's turned off. Now, but what will happen is when our door rises, it'll obviously just stop here and that might look quite ugly. So, okay, you might have like a roof over the top here. But for my example, I'm just going to create another little bit of this wood and extend it and make it go in front a little bit. Okay, just make sure your animated door is turned off once again. And yeah, uh, once I hit this button, as you can see, the door will rise. Uh, that might peek over the top a bit, but I could obviously easily fix that. And then just drag your grill player through. And ta-da, you got a working animated door. GG.